will be starting soon. Oh, oh, oh. story time with Mr. Lamada, where all your dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh. it brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely, won't you stop? All the reading, I just can't wait to be here. Story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh. Story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile you won't leave lonely won't you stop all the reading i just can't wait to be <laughs> good morning good morning and welcome to story time thank you for joining me happy friday wherever you are joining us from today and indeed i hope that you are having a great start to your day and i hope that it will be a good one thank you so much for being here and indeed uh welcome welcome how is the weather where you are out here in oakland today cloudy in the morning and it is likely to get a little bit warmer during the day i think we're hitting a high of about 66 I hope that, um, you know, as you're going out there, be sure to have your sweater today. If you're around here in Oakland or indeed around the Bay Area, just be sure to be prepared for the weather. Check your weather before you go out so you're ready, you're prepared. Do not forget all that protective stuff, your sunscreen. Oh, don't forget to hydrate. Yes, sometimes we, you go through the day and you realize, well, I've not taken a sip of water. Please hydrate. Your body needs it. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time today. And welcome. So glad that we're here together for another story. Yes indeed and as you know that um the whole of june was uh, um pride month and we we read some books and we've just been you know um following all the excitement the celebrations and of course you know there's also been some elements of just people trying to to trump for human rights but we will stand against that we will stand against that and uh celebrate everybody in our community thank you so much for joining in story time i am glad you are here and finally we're bringing our book back yes this one coming back to you one of a kind like me and this one is coming to you from uh, Lauren Moyeno and uh, Robert Lutrihio, and the translation of this one into Spanish is by Teresa Mlawa. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime and welcome. As always, let us know where you're joining in from and who is joining in with you. I am glad that we're here together again for another amazing story time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope that you have a lovely Friday where you are. What are you doing this weekend? I hope that you have some fun stuff lined up. It is, uh, it is a three-day weekend, so I hope that indeed you do have something lined up or if not i hope that you have that little nook that beautiful space ready to have those books over and just read and enjoy your way get lost in all the different worlds that our books provide thank you so much for being here please do share let us know and i'm glad that we're here together indeed i hope that you are having a lovely start to your day all right um this week we've read some amazing books you know and just uh, if you remember yesterday we're looking at just like me, a beautiful book with so many, so many wonderful things. And I will be doing a, a, um, a post later on just highlighting some of those things that we learned this week. And of course, we did look at A is for activists. Yes, the classic coming from Inosanto Nagara. Lots of stuff we learned in there too. I loved it. And also, if you remember, we were standing up and turning up. Yes, with Bob Marley, Sidella Marley and John J. Cobway with Get Up, Stand Up. A beautiful one indeed. And of course, what? One of my favorites we also read what can a citizen do yes indeed this call to action this week continues as we read today one based on a true story one of a kind like me and this one coming to you from robert lutihio lauren mayeno and of course teresa lauer it is a bilingual book thank you so much for joining in 
glad to be sharing these wonderful stories here. Please look up all these authors. Find, 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 um, find them on Instagram. Follow them. See what they do. Amazing work that they do. And indeed, um, get 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 up to date with the latest on, on on their work. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time. Let us see who is with us this morning, ready to enjoy a wonderful story. I am glad that we are here, indeed, together. Good morning to you, Amanda and Nathan. How are you doing today? Thank you for joining in. And of course, Jamie as well. Well, oh, welcome, welcome, Sarah, Nathan, Amanda, and Jamie. Thank you, Indy. Oh, we feel we feel your presence. We feel your presence. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you so much for joining in. Per away, thank you indeed. And it is hot and sunny out in Illinois. Thank you so much for joining in today. And you say we hope all our story time friends have a wonderful weekend and stay safe and healthy oh thank you so much for those positive vibes sending them spreading all over sending them all over the place yes indeed because um this beautiful beautiful um community deserves that thank you so much for sh sharing that message this morning absolutely appreciate it the message to all of you coming from sarah nathan amanda and jamie and indy and it is saying we hope all our friends all you friends out there have a wonderful weekend and indeed do stay safe and healthy thank you you so much for joining in thank you for that lovely message to everybody that is joining us if you're joining us for the live welcome please let us know you're here so we can say hi to you and of course if you're joining us for the recordings please do remember to leave a message so that we can indeed communicate and uh, interact with you thank you so much for joining in and for continuing to be a part of the story time community thank you indeed please continue to send us recommendations and we will be doing our very best as we say always to bring them here to story time for you thank you indeed for being here happy friday happy friday indeed i am glad that we're here together and of course we'll be getting started with our story very very shortly do join me on the other side of this message and um go now this is your time rush go get your cup of your cup of tea go and get whatever you need this morning to make this story time even better go 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 you have a few minutes before we start <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in. I'll catch you on the other side of this message. Thank you for being here indeed. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Amanda Davis. I am a children's book author, illustrator, and high school art educator. I am the author of 30,000 Stitches, the inspiring story of the National 9-11 flag, illustrated by Sally Warren Comport and published with Worthy Kids Hashtag Book Group. One thing that drew me to writing 30,000 Stitches was the idea that people from all different communities came out to stitch this flag and make it whole again. So I hope that when people read 30,000 Stitches, they remember the power of sharing our stories. When people came out to stitch the flag, they shared their stories, whether about loss or pain or love. We all have stories to tell. And by sharing our stories and listening to one another's stories, we can create a better understanding of each other and create a sense of connection and unity. And this is what creates a more inclusive world. I hope you enjoy your story time with Mr. LaMada. Bye, everybody. Oh, thank you indeed. We all have a story to tell. And you know who has a story to tell for us today? Lauren Mayeno. And this is a book based on a true story, something that happened um, in her life. And uh, it is illustrated by Robert Lou Trujillo and uh, illustra um, the translation into Spanish by Teresa Mlawa. Get ready, get comfortable, get cozy as we're about to start. One of a kind like me. <laughs> And this one we're reading with permission, of course, from uh, Robert Luchihio and Noreen Mayeno and, of course, Orange, uh, Blood Orange Press. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. I hope you're ready. One of a kind like me, Lauren Mayeno, Robert Luchihio and Teresa Lau. And it is published by Blood Orange Press of Oakland, California. Oh my, said mommy, tomorrow is the school parade and you still don't have a costume. Danny drew wavy lines with his purple marker. I know what I'm going to be, he said. Cousin Carmelita washed him, licking gooey banana from her fingers. <laughs> what are you going to be, Danny? <laughs> Hmm, said Grandpa, a 
wizard in a long purple robe? In long purple robes? Danny colored between the lines. Nope. I know, said Mommy, a flying acrobat with purple tights. Danny drew faster and the purple waves danced to life. Nope, it said again. Well, don't keep us guessing, said Grandpa. Danny smiled. He picked up his silver pencil and added one last touch. I am going to be a princess just like her. Everyone stopped what they were doing and looked at Danny's princess. She wore a purple dress with round puffy sleeves and ruffles all the way down to her toes. Her crown was shiny silver. <laughs> oh, princessa, good Camelita. Are you sure that's what you want? Asked mommy. Yes, I am sure. Okay, let's go find your princess dress. Camelita clapped her sticky, her sticky, her sticky hands. <laughs> Grandpa winked. Try Nifty Thrifty. They have everything. Danny folded his picture and stuffed it into his pocket. <laughs> Let the adventure begin. When they walked into the store, their eyes popped wide open. This place looks like a giant closet exploded, say Danny. Mommy stood and stared. How will we find anything in all of this? Danny took her hand. Look for purple. I know we will find it. <laughs> Look for purple indeed. <laughs> I remember going through a few thrift, thrift stores and, oh yes, it can be overwhelming. In the first aisle, Danny spotted a bin with, ha with hats, masks, and animal ears. He dug through the bin and uncovered a sparkly silver crown. It fit him just right. Yippee, he said. Now for the dress. In aisle two, Danny looked from side to side, up and down, but there was no purple dress, no purple princess dress anywhere. In aisle three, a twinkle of purple shone from behind the belts. Out slithered a shiny purple necktie. I know, we will find my dress soon, said Danny. They searched two more aisles, and still there was no purple dress. Where could it be? Was there a purple dress to even to start with? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Help Danny find that purple dress. If you see anything, point it out. In aisle six, a flash of purple peeked out from a swirl of colors on a rack overhead. Could this be his dress? Danny reached up and pulled down. Clothes fell, raining all around him. A purple robe landed on his head. A wizard could wear this, say Danny, but not a princess. <laughs> oh, will Danny find his dress? <laughs> In aisle seven, Danny saw a big purple blob bulging from a shelf. Could this be his dress? Standing on his tippy toes, Danny stretched as far as he could, but the blob was just out of reach. He jumped as high as he could and barely hooked it with his fingertips. The purple thing fell, opening up into a sea of ruffles. Danny's mouth dropped open, but it wasn't a princess dress. What is it? He asked. It must be a shower curtain or something, said Mommy. Danny stared at the ruffles. His shoulders drooped. I was sure this was my dress, he said. Mommy stuffed the curtain back into the shelf. Let's keep looking. Might find one. <laughs> Let's keep looking indeed. When they got to the last aisle, they still hadn't found Danny's dress. A speck of purple glimmered from the bottom of a huge mountain of odds and ends. Could this be his dress? Danny gave a tug and something purple and shimmery appeared. He yanked some more and out it came. But it's leggings, said Danny. I am sorry, Miho. There is nowhere else to look. Danny clenched his fist. But my dress is here. I just know it. A crackling sound came from above and then a tiny voice the store is closing in five minutes it said 
please bring your purchases to the register. Danny's chin dropped down to his chest. Oh, well, I guess I will be a flying acrobat. He left the crown on a nearby table and tagged toward the checkout counter with the leggings. Sorry you couldn't find the dress, Danny. Mommy handed the leggings to the cashier. Danny sighed. Hmm. He put out his picture and looked at his princess. The purple raffles reminded him of something. What was it? Wait, he said. My dress is here. Danny stuffed the picture back into his pocket and raced over to IO7. He leaped for the shower curtain and caught it as it fell. Look, here is the bottom half, he said, wrapping it around his waist. Mommy caught it, caught up to him. Why didn't I think of that? Will you help me make it? Asked Danny. Of course I will, Mommy trailed behind Danny as he ran to get his crown. <laughs> that should work. <laughs> they hurried to IO6 and Danny nabbed the purple rob. We can use this for the top half, he said. Brilliant, said Mommy. They rushed to, the IO, to IO3 to grab the purple necktie and then made their way back to the checkout counter. Just in time. <laughs> oh, good thinking, Danny. Look at them run. Look at them go through those aisles. <laughs> when Danny and Mommy got home, they got right to work, cutting and sewing. Your dress will be one of a kind, said Mommy. Just like me, said Danny. Just like you. <laughs> oh. At school the next morning, Danny couldn't keep his eyes off of the clock. Every time he looked, every time he looked, the hands had only barely moved. Finally, Mrs. Kaloka stood up and called out, Time to get ready for the parade! Danny jumped out of his seat and dashed over to his cubby. He grabbed his backpack and pulled out his big fluffy purple princess dress. Whose dress is that? asked Mr. Kaloka. It's mine, say Danny. Mommy, help me make it. Wow, that's a fantastic, that's fantastic, she said. She, she helped Danny wriggle into the dress and tied the purple necktie into a ball around his waist. Oh. <laughs> I remember a few parades at school where we've had to do some last minute things. Danny pulled out his shiny silver, purple and his shiny silver crown and stood up tall while Mrs. Kaloka placed it on, on his head. Now I am a princess, he said. Yes, you are, said Miss Kaloka, adjusting his crown so it sat just right. Thank you, said Danny with a smile that stretched clear across his face. <laughs> oh, I love that. I hope today your smile stretched wide across your face <laughs> danny skipped out to find his friends and nearly skipped right into a giant octopus hello danny said the octopus blowing a stream of bubbles hi christina said danny natasha landed nearby spreading her butterfly wings carlos waddled over dressed as a big round pineapple i've never seen a boy princess before said the pineapple me neither, said the butterfly. Danny crossed his arms, making his sleeves puff out even more. Well, I've never seen a walking pineapple or a talking butterfly. Hmm. Carlos tried to cross his arms, but his big round pineapple suit got in the way. He frowned. Hmm. <laughs> I've never seen, I've never seen a walking pineapple or a talking butterfly. <laughs> The octopus blew some bubbles. The butterfly flapped her wings. The princess curtsied. I guess we are all one of a kind, said Danny. The pineapple's frown turned into a smile. That's us, one of a kind. Danny twirled, watching the purple ruffles dance around him. 
Yeah. And that's the end. And I just wanted to read the back here with the uh, back matter. And there's the real Danny, as you can see in the picture there, on whose who's, um, this story is based on. And um, I'm just going to read it quickly for you before um, before we 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 we, we exit. And um, this says here, this book is based on a true story. When my son Danny told me he wanted to be a princess for Halloween, I was worried that he would be teased and I would be judged. I suggested another costume, but Danny knew that what he wanted. I decided to support him and we created a beautiful purple princess dress. He wore it happily in the school parade and kept it for years. Although I didn't know it then, I later came to realize that having a child with expansive gender expression was a beautiful gift. When Danny was growing up, we didn't know other families like ours or see ourselves reflected in picture books. To fill this gap, Danny helped me create a story about a child from whom anything was possible, surrounded by a loving multicultural family and community. I hope that one of a kind like me gives children a sense of belonging courage to be who they are, and an appreciation for people who are different than themselves. Being Danny's mom, I have learned to appreciate children who don't follow expectations based on gender. I also have seen how pressure, how pressure to fit gender expectations can make life hard for any child. We can help all children feel safe and accepted by allowing them to explore a full range of activities without restricting or criticizing what they do based on gender. We can also make a difference by encouraging children to be respectful and kind to their peers and by letting them know that teasing and bullying hurt. If you have a child who doesn't follow society's gender norms, rest assured that you are not alone. It is perfectly healthy to explore different ways of expressing gender. If you have concerns and fears, as I did, learning about gender diversity and connecting with other families like yours, can you, like yours, can give you confidence and peace of mind. And we're encouraged there to visit outproudfamilies.com for videos, books, guides, organizations, and other resources. And that was a message coming from our creator, uh, Lauren Mayeno. And there she is with her son, Danny. And that's him there in his costume. But so much in that, so much in that message. I will again be sharing this. And it just says, we can help all children feel safe and accepted by allowing them to explore a full range of activities without restricting or criticizing what they do based on gender. So much, so much to unpack in there. So such great information, such a great resource. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this lovely book that we're able to read here today. Um, I remember too, one time, um, I think it was maybe my third year at my my current school and i went as a as a witch and i remember everybody was like no you cannot be a witch you have to be a wizard but i wanted to be a witch and uh, i loved it i enjoyed it so sometimes you know like there's just this whole societal expectation of things and um yeah but life is fluid and we can you know it is so much that we can do and um and I'm glad that, you know, Danny had a supportive, supportive family that was able, you know, to be there for him and, and, and let him explore, let him, let him have um, his imagination go as far as it could. And um, I appreciate that. And hopefully next time, too, we will have Lauren Mayeno here to talk more about the book. I know there have been book bans and all kinds of things brought up. And she's been a big advocate, not just for, um, you know, for gender equity, but also just for this book to be out there it's been uh there's been a, a lot of talk around it and some people trying to ban it but we're here to support and indeed we are here to celebrate everybody in our communities thank you so much for being here thank you lauren mayeno robert lou to and of course theresa Mlao for allowing us to share this book here on story time and indeed for creating this wonderful wonderful story and danny thank you for telling your story lauren Thank you. Thank you indeed. Thank you so much for joining in. Blood Orange Press, thank you for being here and um, indeed for allowing us to share this lovely book as well. I hope that you enjoyed that. Happy Friday.
Friday to all of you today. And I hope indeed that your smiles today are as wide as possible, as wide enough on your mouth. Like the book said, I hope that they stretch all the way across and you have a lovely day. Thank you indeed for being here. Let us see who was with us this morning, enjoying that wonderful story. <laughs> Good morning to you, or should I say Mwashibu Kenya, Vena Zambia, Amanda, thank you so much for joining in on Zambian time, yes, I just say good morning to you, I'm glad you're here, baby Pia, thank you, thank you, and you say you're sending big hugs to everyone, well indeed, well received, thank you so much for being here, I'm glad you still made it, thank you indeed, I hope that you enjoyed that book um, that we had today for story time. Thank you. It has been a lovely week. Please do check out our Instagram to see all the books that we read this week and a little write-up about each one of them. Beautiful, beautiful books indeed. Wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here. I am glad that you are here with us. Thank you. I'm very thankful for one of a kind Danny and his supportive ma'am. If everyone were the same, this world would be so boring. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, that's always always things that i love about this community because there's just so much love here there's so much you know acceptance so much just critical thinking and also you know like um just support i appreciate you all and um i hope that you know i just wish for many more people like you in this world thank you so much for sharing that and indeed we are very thankful to danny and his supportive mom and of course for sharing their story as well and remember like it says you have a story to share so i hope that you know all those stories that you have all those little things tucked away somewhere maybe one day put them in a book and share them with us on story time why not thank you so much for joining in absolutely appreciate you amanda west jamie thank you for being here as well we appreciate you sarah and nathan what can i say hugs 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 indy i hope you can allow me a pet <laughs> thank you so much for being here on story time eva beleche thank you so much for joining us in oakland love it happy friday to you i know you're teaching summer school this year i hope that um you do have indeed a nice restful weekend three-day weekend coming up Thank you for being here with us and hopefully see you soon. Eva, I also have some message to share with you. Please, please, I will get in touch later on. Um, I will be teaming up with Robin very, very soon. So I have a message for you. We'll talk soon. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Good to see everybody here on Storytime. I love it that we're here together indeed. And um, today we're going to end a little bit different before we, we, we log out i am going to have a bit of music we can dance together we can do the jig we always do the jig at the beginning but maybe we can do one at the end too so feel free where you are if you have space to move along with me jump around and yes indeed enjoy with this uh, story time outro today and then of course i will see you on monday for more story time no tuesday actually tuesday monday is off monday is um uh fourth of july so we'll be off for that one and i hope that you do have indeed wonderful times but we will be posting one of our past interviews with mark barnett so do catch that one you want to enjoy that you want to see it uh, lots of lots of good good tips from there for for writers and also lots of fun for the little ones and we'll be reading the book what is love so please do join us on monday for that recording of a past interview and indeed do enjoy it remember you can find story time on instagram at story time with mr limada you can find us on youtube as well as facebook and of course at story time with mr limata dot Calm. Thank you so much for being here. It is always a pleasure to be with you. You know you're one of a kind. You know you're special. You know we love you. And I hope indeed that you do have a lovely day today. All right. Time to jig together. Thank you so much for joining in. Eva Beleche, appreciate you. Love you to bits. And also, I am working summer school with Ellen Hum. Just so you know, the team is here at Sankofa. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in and good morning. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Sarah and Nathan, Amanda, baby fear, jump in, get ready to groove along to this one. <laughs> Story time. Oh, it's coming. Story time with Mr. Limata. And we'll be starting soon. Story time with Mr. 
All right, thank you, friends. I will see you again on Monday. Please have yourselves a wonderful day. Dance away today, and I hope that you indeed you enjoy this three-day weekend that we have. Oh, bye. You won't be lonely. Won't you start? Oh, you're reading. You just can't wait to be hearing. <laughs> Bring to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't need lonely, won't you start? All the reading, we just can't wait to be alive. Your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't need lonely, won't you start? All the reading, we just can't wait to be hearing. Brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't need lonely, won't you stop? All the reading, we just can't wait to be here.